Right, students, we're going to have a quick look at how to use a Petri dish and how to treat one. This is a Petri dish, and it contains a substance called agar, which is basically gelatin, but it's not animal gelatin like your jello. This is seaweed gelatin, vegetable gelatin. It's a little better for this purpose. So what I'd like you to do first, if yours is not a divided dish, some of them are divided into fours, I'd like you to go ahead and divide it with a marker and label them one, two, three, and four. Then you'll have on your piece of paper something where you can record what you're putting in each zone. Now, on the other side, put your initials of all the people in your group and what class hour you are in so that we can figure out which one is yours later. They will all look quite a bit different after they've been sitting for a couple days if everything goes right. Now, when you've got your dish labeled and everything, we're ready to start. Unless you're going to take bacteria from your fingers, it might be a good idea to sanitize your hands. Remove the tape. And then you want to put the tape somewhere on your desk, taped down. Maybe not on some paper, but this is cleaner than what I've got here. So that it won't stick to itself and you can use it to reattach to the plate after we're done. Now when we're using the plate, it's important to remember that gravity is constantly pulling mold spores down. So when we're applying things, you want to lift the lid, but keep the lid over it, kind of like an umbrella against mold spores. This is really effective at actually keeping nasty stuff out. You'd be surprised how effective it is. Then, we'll use Q-tips moistened in a little water. So you'll take your Q-tip, get its tip moistened in a little bit of water, and then approach the surface you're wanting to get it off. So pray maybe it's the bathroom door, or maybe it's your table, or who knows what. But rub it all over while twisting the Q-tip so you get stuff all over it. And try to concentrate on cracks and crevices. Any weird spot where stuff would collect will be collecting bacteria. So you got your collection on your moist Q-tip. You'll lift this, slide on over to where you want to put it, and paint it on gently while turning your Q-tip so you expose as much as you can to the site you choose. Try to keep it in that one area so we know what went where. And then in the other spots you could put perhaps, you know, your fingerprint on there, see what kind of bacteria your fingers grow, maybe a tooth scraping, or hmm, perhaps you could press a dollar bill on there. That's really up to you. It's always interesting to see what kind of stuff will come out. We know that money is extremely nasty. Now, after you've got everything applied to your plate, we're going to reseal it with our tape. Flatten the tape down so it makes a good seal. Keep any dust. Make sure this doesn't fall apart as you're handling it. And this needs to be stored upside down. That way, if condensation forms, it won't be dripping down on the bacteria. That'll help keep everything where it belongs. Because if condensation splashes down, it can cause it to move around or drown some. Now, when you come back to this later, do not immediately open it. It may have mold growing in it. Now, if mold is growing in it, we don't want to open it because we do not want to expose ourselves to mold spores if we can avoid it. It could be an allergy or health problem, but also they just get everywhere and infect everybody else's dishes. So if you've got mold growing in it, please don't open it back up. And I'll talk in another video about how we're going to put this stuff on a slide and stain it for looking at under a microscope.